So welcome back to the shop, friends. You may have noticed I got my ears lowered. Maybe a little bit shorter than I would have liked, but Granddad always said there was, what, 10 days difference between a good haircut and a bad one? So uh, today I want to share a video with you. This video uh, was uh, brought to you or sponsored by, or Google Chromebooks hired me to do a video. And they wanted me to talk a little bit about how the Google Chromebook works into my workflow on the homestead. I got to thinking about that and I thought, let's do something a little different today. I want to share something with you that maybe I don't think that I've shared in the past. And that is um, what it takes to produce these videos. Kind of a behind the scene, a look inside my toolboxes uh, for the video side of it. We've done so many videos on uh, toolboxes and tools and traditional woodworking and chainsaws and kits, but almost, I don't think I've done anything on my kit on what it takes to produce this content. I thought you might be interested in to see it and how uh, the Chromebook uh, is an essential part of that whole production component. These are my video toolboxes. Comes down to two. Uh, after years and years of doing videos, I have made a lot of mistakes, but I've got a pretty good system here and I can get everything that I need to do to produce my content in these two cases. The yellow one is just for the drone and the black one here is for the camera equipment and everything it takes um, to upload a video. The current drones, you know, maybe not an essential tool, but hard, it just, it has opened up a creativity and the ability and an ease of, of getting shots, uh, especially for one man bands like myself, where I do everything. I do all of the videoing, I do all the editing, I, all the filming, I don't have anyone to help me. So a drone has become like kind of a, a portable camera. I look at it as a portable tripod that I can move around from a remote control from my phone. So this is my drone kit. I shoot a map, uh, I use a Mavic Pro. Um, I use five batteries and I do sometimes use those all up and everything fits nice in this Nano Cook case. I've got my chargers, I can put my phone, extra propellers and all of that. So this is something that's been really nice for me. One thing that, it, that was a problem though is that I shoot most of my stuff on micro SD cards. And if we look, so I got the wrong side. Uh, once I'm done shooting with the drone, I have no idea what I got or even if I got the shot that I wanted to. And so having the ability to view this um, has become very, very important. And I'll show you how I do that. And this is my main camera case here. And right on top, um, I keep my Google Chromebook. I am very, uh, I ha I'm very specific about what I keep in here because I'm, um, I'm oftentimes away from uh, the house. Um, I'll shoot in remote locations. I'll, sh I'll shoot in far por portions of the property and coming back just ruins my whole workflow and having the Chromebook here gives me the ability to make sure that I always get the shots with the, all the cameras that I use. So it has um, a micro SD reader in the side and I can put this in here. And this goes the same for my action cameras. See, the problem with shooting with drones and action cameras is that there's no screen. There's no way to see if did you get the shot. And with the lights failing and you go back and you just want to edit and you didn't, you haven't verified that you got the shot, everything is wasted. So this gives me the ability to view these things. And not only that, but when I, is, when I is, or insert the card, I can automatically use the Google Drive uh, function and it's automatically uploading via wireless through my router and it's protecting my footage. So everything is sitting up there on the cloud waiting for me when I go back into my office to do my to do my my editing but in addition to that I can verify right here did I get the shot I can look at things in a nice big display and, and HD and I can see okay so I got the shot so here's a just a little bit of, um, of a, some footage from a Christmas video that I'm working on right now where I had no idea what I what ha, did I get it I couldn't see it so and this was a long ways from home this was you know an hour away from home where I was getting this so having the Chromebook and being able to verify this and to be sure that I had everything and to save everything up to the cloud and have it there waiting for me was really, really handy. And it's just become an essential component for me. The tripods that I use are made by Pro Media Gear. These are carbon fiber tripods that are professional grade tripods. And I have, uh, I tried to skimp on tripods back in the day and I had a couple fall over and damage very expensive equipment and it really caused me problems. So I don't skimp on that anymore. This is the foundation of your whole thing. And when you start mounting, um, expensive cameras with nice lenses up there. You have to have a stable tripod. I use uh, Manfrotto video heads uh, so I can get nice pan, smooth pans. Um, and having a sturdy tripod like this 
um, just gives me the insurance that uh, it's not going to fall down and I'm not going to break my camera. So let's take a peek inside the toolbox. So the Chromebook rides on top there and this is how I have everything laid out. So I have duplicates of everything. If you're going to do this professionally and you have something that goes down, sending a camera out to have it repaired can be, can be weeks. And you, if you're without your camera, you can't make your content. So it's, it's a little different than if you're going to do, get serious and do this full time, you want to you know, buy the best equipment you can get. And if you can get backups on critical uh, components, I would recommend that um, s certainly. So the cameras that I shoot are 5D Mark IVs. These are full frame professional can camera cannons with the ProMedia Pro Media gear um, uh, cages on them. And I'll show you why that's on there here in a minute. Uh, microphones, I shoot usually two different types of microphones. I use the Rode VideoMic Pros. Uh, this is the Pro Plus and this is the previous gen, I think right here for kind of run and gun and, and shotgun stuff uh, where I don't want to deal with a lav mic. Uh, wind is always a problem, you know, when you're out uh, uh, outside. So being able to have, uh, these are called dead cats. They're, they're synthetic fur that prevents um, wind from getting in and, and clipping the mic. I use uh, lav mics a lot. Uh, those, uh, just perfect example, the reason why I have two of these is, is I've got one that's down. So I usually have two in here, but it's out for repair. So having backups and then uh, protecting my media cards, that's really important. So when I'm done, I'll put everything back and the media cards will go in this waterproof Pelican case, and that's what I'll take in with me, um, in addition to the stuff that I have on Google Drive from the micro SDs. Lots of batteries. I use uh, action cameras, the Sonys, and all of the various and different components and small tripods and clips and cables and clamps and wires and gaffers tape and everything that I have learned um, that I need over the years, from years and years of doing this. But the Chromebook always comes with me and rides right here on top. The Chromebook has become indispensable for me and part of my toolkit because it, it gives me so many tools uh, to be able to run uh, my business and stay in communication, not only with my family and my wife, but also with you guys. This is how I interface with you guys. This is how I access my channel and answer comments and all of that. And what's so nice about it is that it's based on a, it's really similar to our phones, based on, on a, using applications. You can go to the Google the web store and you can download any application that you want that's going to help you, whether it be um, the calendar that we use and Google Drive that we use constantly to the YouTube apps, uh, to video editing, to all of those things. And also it has a touch screen, which is the, this is the first computer I've ever had that's had a touch screen. And it's very helpful to me in the shop. You know, as when I'm working on the shop and sometimes I'll do research on videos and and a lot of the stuff that I'm learning along with you guys, and, and I have to go in and to be able to, you know, make sure that I'm doing things right or try different techniques and to be able to work into the shop and to have a touch screen that I can check. And I'm a visual learner. I like to see things and I get inspired by different things that I see on the web and other creators. And to be able to come up when my hands are covered with sawdust and I'm busy and just to really quickly ha have a computer that opens and boots up so quickly and it's so simple to use with the touch screen to me is really nice. It helps with my workflow. It doesn't get in my way. And that's what I look for in tools. I don't want tools to complicate my life. I want tools to make my life easier and simpler. Another feature that we really enjoy using, of course, is the calendar. Now, the calendar is something that Mrs. W and her Chromebook, she can add different events. She can add um, uh, things that I need to pick up or things, phone calls that we need to make and automatically it's shared over the internet. So we communicate on this all the time because we don't have cell coverage out here. So this is the main way that we get information back and forth and, and stay in touch is, is through um, G, the Gmail app and, um, and the texting features. So when you do everything by yourself like I do from the video work to the lighting to the audio, everything's got to be uh, simple and easy to use. And this is a system that has been many years in the coming, coming or that I've come up with uh, that works really good. So everything is based on the Swiss Acura, the quick attach uh, basis. And I want to show you the reason I mentioned the cage on here and, and how, how functional this is. So the cameras um, require lots of uh, require lots of different um, apparatus on there. Sometimes if I shoot in the in the dark, uh, for example, I need to have uh, lighting. And having multiple tripods and moving everything out, it's just by, if it's just a one man guy, it's just it's just too much to do. So I've had to really streamline things in a way that makes them simple. So when I need lighting, for example, if I'm shooting in the metal shop, which is really really dark, I can't shoot in there without having some light. And so the cage, uh, this is a Pro Media 
the BRC1 Pro Media Gear cage allows me to be to have all sorts of options. It gives me a carry handle um, where I can safely carry and move my camera around with. It gives me the ability to mount lights. It gives me the ability I can mount uh, microphones. Um, versatility is so, so important. I can add and subtract things and I'm all about whatever it, I can do to make my life easier because I'm trying to do the work and and I'm trying to make the videos and I'm trying to deal with light and audio all by yourself. And the storyline is really challenging. So it's got to be easy. It's got to be simple and it's got to be strong. Um, so that's kind of why, why the cage and how all of that stuff works. I'm very selective about what goes in this toolbox, uh, the black, the, the photography toolbox. If it's not something that contributes uh, to my business, to my channel, uh, to giving me the ability to, to produce good content, it's not in there. I can't have uh, peripheral stuff. I just don't have room for it. And the Chromebook has given me a flexibility uh, to, to take my, my channel and to, and to produce content and to do the things that I need to do anywhere. I'm no longer bound by um, um, my office. I can, I can do editing. I can do uploading. I can answer comments. I can uh, get information. I can do anything that I need to do from whether it be my van or if we go up to the mountain and go skiing or if we're traveling, this is always with me and it helps me to stay in touch and it helps me to, to do everything that I need to do around my channel. I just couldn't, I couldn't get by with, without it. It's a vital, vital, vital component to me. There are so many moving parts and pieces to making video content that organization uh, is so important. Everything in my kit has a place and goes back. I, when I'm done shooting, the first thing that I do is I insert my cards and I load everything up using the Google Drive app through my Chromebook. And that has everything waiting for me in my home office where I do my main editing. And while that is doing its thing, I put everything back in its spot. I charge all the batteries, I swap everything out. Now the only variation that I'll make to this kit is sometimes in the rare occasion that I do need lights, that I will run my lights in here where the camera body goes and I'll just take this in on the tripod. But I don't often use lights. The, the, the new cameras, the full frame sensors are so good that you can shoot and practically shoot in dark. So it's, it's rare that I need lights anymore, but everything goes in, it's ready to go so that when I close the lid on this, that I know that I can grab it and everything is charged and, and I'm ready to go. So that wraps up the quick behind the scenes of kind of the tools that I use for creating content. Again, I want to thank Google Chromebook for producing um, a tool that helps me um, to stay in communication with, with you, with my family. Um, gives me tools uh, and applications that I can uh, uh, take my, my channel anywhere and, and the versatility and flexibility and where I'm not tied to anything. And I think that's the thing that I enjoy the most about it. Uh, so coming up, a lot of uh, some uncertainty of what's coming up in the next couple weeks. Um, I am slated um, on the list to go down to California as an engine boss uh, to help fight the wildland fires down in Los Angeles. Um, I've got a crew put together um, and we're just waiting for the call. So we're all packed. Uh, 14 days will be minimum. It could be 21 days I could be down there, um, but we're, we could be going at any moment or not at all. So. I was up all night getting my wildland gear. It's really something to be uh, called out on a wildland fire where I might be not, not be home for Christmas. Um, I never thought I'd see the day of that, but California um, uh, really needs help down there. And so we've, um, we're sending some guys down there to, to see if we can't, certainly can't lend a hand. So um, I'll try, if, if that's the case, I'll try to, to vlog from the uh, road. Sorry, my voice is a little shaky. It's freezing in here. Uh, vlog from the road and, and share that with you. Another good thing is my friend, good friend, Alan, he's coming with me. I couldn't be more thrilled about that. It's nice to um, work with people you trust and uh, uh, implicitly. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that. So uh, we'll try to, we'll try to vlog from the road and, and give updates. Mrs. W will put some updates up, but um, that's it. Keep us in your prayers and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.